run into business owners that have an acquisition price at a transaction price that's above the five ten million dollar mark we start talking about that they're interested in deferring we start talking about the deferred sales trust 2.0 and how does that function joe certified financial planner let's just dive into the big challenge that you see a lot of ultra high net worth clients of yours that have and and others that might be listening talk about the challenges when it comes to estate tax the death tax and overall estate planning before we dive into the solution yeah, you know, as a certified financial planner, part of the big picture uh, is the multi-generational planning. And so when we talk about how to properly pass assets down generationally, how to do that efficiently and in a way that leaves a legacy, which I'm, I'm passionate about. Uh, there's family members, there's charities, uh, there's the uh, transition of business. Uh, if you're still owning that business and how that business can continue to function as you pass it down. These are all things that we help clients discuss. And the deferred sales trust is a major part of that discussion when it comes to exit planning. And as we run into business owners that have an acquisition price at a transaction price that's above the five, ten million dollar mark, we start talking about that they're interested in deferring. We start talking about the deferred sales trust 2.0 and how does that function and and how does that help them with estate taxes in the future? Because at this point. It's fairly generous. Uh, you know, we can have about $22 million of estate, net estate passed down without any taxes. However, that is set to uh, sunset here very soon. So the question at that point is what will happen? Will that come back down to, you know, $2 million levels, $3 million levels as our national debt has moved up tremendously in the last few years? you would think that they would look for ways to capture more tax revenue. So we want to think ahead of that and having partners that think strategically like yourself, how do we use the deferred sales trust to reduce estate tax or prepare a client who they might be in an exit plan now? While there's a very high number of $22 million, but we don't know the future. So what can we do to prepare them for the worst case scenario?